The Elk is compact, lightweight and portable. It's easy to unpack and set up either inside or outdoors. The Elk is powered by a small lightweight battery compressor called the Airflow 24. The four coloured and numbered airlines are matched simply connected to each section of the Elk. The elk is now ready to use. The following demonstration gives an example of how to use the elk. In this scenario, a person has fallen and been found lying on the floor. The paramedic has established that no injury has been sustained, but the person is unable to get up without help. Ideally, the person needs to be sitting centrally on the elk as close to the back as possible. The person should then fold their arms whilst maintaining a good posture as the paramedic provides support. It's essential the paramedic supports them from behind and remains there for the duration of the lift. The handset is operated by pressing and holding the numbered buttons in sequence, starting with number one. The first section of the elk will now start to inflate. Continue to hold button one. The airflow will stop automatically once the section is fully inflated. It's important for a safe lift that each required section is full before moving on to the next. Press and hold button 2 to inflate the second section. At the earliest opportunity, the person should be encouraged to bend their knees and bring their feet towards the cushion. Once section 2 is fully inflated, the paramedic will need to alter their position to maintain adequate control. Press and hold button 3 to inflate the third section. Three inflated sections will usually be sufficient to enable transfer, but a taller person may need all four. It's essential that the person's feet remain on the floor at all times and transfer should not be attempted from a partially inflated section. Once the required number of sections have been inflated, the paramedic can help the person stand up or transfer. Disconnect the airlines from the airflow and press the on-off button to turn it off. To deflate the elk, turn it on its side and press and hold the buttons either simultaneously or individually for approximately 5 seconds to release the air pressure. Disconnect the airlines as shown. Any remaining air may be dispelled through applying pressure. The elk can then be packed away, ready for its next use. The airflow should always be put back on charge as soon as possible.